Dad. Dad. Oh, just a minute. Dad, what are you doing? I'm about. Oh, I'm. Dad, Bobby's going to be here in half an hour. I'm on the roof already. We talked about this. Oh, got to inspect up here. And the gutters need cleaning. You should not be on the roof. You have to inspect the roof, Debbie. Shack would fall down if we don't inspect the roof every year. It's gonna fall down because you keep climbing on it. Oh, it's been in our family 50 years. The roof can handle a little walkabout. Mom would have a coronary if she saw you up there. She saw me up here plenty of times. I'll be safe. Can I hold the ladder? I'll be safe, Debbie. Just relax. Huh? Is everything okay, Dad? Is there moss? Or what? I said, is there moss? I know how you hate moss. Dad? Uh, no, there's, there's just uh, uh, something off in the trees there. Uh, there's something big. What? I, I say uh, there's something moving over there a piece. Uh, oh, about a quarter mile away uh, toward the road. You can see it from there? Well, not through the trees, no. Uh, but you can hear it. And the trees are shaking all about. Uh, sounds huge. What? I say it's huge. Wow. Construction equipment? Oh, no one's building on the lake this fall. It's too wet. Huh. I wonder. I wonder what that is. The Icebox Radio Theater presents The Gular. Uh, good to sit down. You shouldn't have that much coffee if you're going to get up early. Can I go to the deer stand with you tomorrow, Grandpa? Oh, well, of course. Dad. What? He's old enough. Oh, and I know his dad's teaching him how to use that little twenty-two. I know. When's Bobby going to be up, uh, anyway? Uh, he's off shift at 7, then he'll drive up. Uh, good having family at the shack again. I think Maddie's still a little young to go sit in the deer stand. Mom... If you stay here with Elsa and me, maybe we'll plunk some cans, huh? I don't want to plunk cans. I want to go out to the stand with Grandpa. Oh, that's no fun. All you get to do is sit and be quiet. I'll bring my comic books, and I'll keep my games on silent. Maddie? Oh, Deb, what's wrong? We come hunting as a family every opening weekend since you were Maddie's age. If he wants to go up into the stand with me, uh, so what? It's about time, isn't it? That twenty-two of his wouldn't bring down a squirrel. I know that, Mom. I wasn't even going to bring it. Debbie? What's wrong? We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it now. What's the bee in your bonnet? Fine. I never told you this, but it really bothered me the first time I saw you take a buck. My daddy, killing Bambi. Well, sure. But you were a girl and a pretty sensitive one at that. Matthew here won't have any problem. Oh, I bet he's shooting birds all the time. Oh, no, Grandpa. Dad told me never to do that. Ah, and he was right to say it, too. Because? Because we only kill what we eat. That's right. You see, Deb, he's a born hunter. Can't keep him out of the stand forever. Well, I guess. Really? Really, but don't bother Grandpa while he's hunting. I won't. Oh, of course he won't. Matter of fact, I need him and his young eyes up there to scout things out. I'll do it, Grandpa. Of course you will. Now, uh, got any more of that coffee? Dad. What's that? Uh, must be a bear. <laughs> Probably attracted by Maddie's cocoa. That sounds too big to be a bear. Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. Uh, I think we need to get into the house. Maddie, come on. What was that? Get into the shack. Dad? No, no, get, get into the truck. What is it? Get the babies and get them to the truck. I, I think we have to... Grandpa? One three seven, come back. One three seven, what's up, Cheryl? Okay, Ridge. We lost contact with our 911 caller. The line went dead. You said it was a cell, right? Copy that. Any chance we can get a GPS location off the phone? We're working on that, but it takes a while to rouse anyone at the phone company. Also, Parks Department is on the scene. Why is Parks there? The road's not on their land. Guy said he was in the neighborhood. Said you might need a hand. Ah, oh, son of a... You don't know it's him. Parks doesn't patrol at night. If someone was just out driving around, it's got to be him. Well, 
Have fun, you two. Arriving at the scene now. Do you want backup? Very funny. 137, leaving vehicle. That you, Giff? Yeah. Your dispatcher said you had a 911 call out here? Uh huh. Car accident, I guess. There it is. See for yourself. Uh huh. Uh, you, you been here long? Four and a half minutes. Four and a half, huh? What? Nothing. A- any sign of the passengers? Nope. Dispatcher said they lost our caller. Hmm, must have wandered off. Yep. So, um, what, what's Parks Department doing out here this time of night? You know, patrolling. Doesn't Park land end over there a piece? You know, Richie, if you don't want my help, just say so. Oh, I didn't say that. Just trying to figure out what's going on. It's a pickup plowed into a tree in the forest. What do you think's going on? That all checks. But I'm interested in the recently divorced Parky riding the scanner looking for trouble. You think I'm looking for trouble? Aren't you? I'm doing my job. My personal life's got nothing to do with it. Other than you now work 24 hours a day. Nothing better to do since she left me. How is she, by the way? I wouldn't know. Really? That's not what I hear. What's that supposed to mean? It means my wife was seen in your company shortly before deciding to leave me. So you think she left for me? Did she? If I told you straight up, would you believe me? Yeah. Yeah, I think I would. All right, then. We had coffee. Twice. She wanted to talk to someone about stuff. And didn't have anyone. I lent an ear. Is that all you lent? I suppose you have a right to ask that, and yes, that's all I lent. Awfully convenient you being there. We'd worked together once or twice, domestic disputes and that. When was the last time you slept, Giff? You want to talk about the accident, officer, or is my personal life just that much more interesting? Right. You checked around? No passengers, no footprints into the woods. You recognize the vehicle. Yeah. I want to say it's Bobby Dunning's truck. He married Debbie Olson, and her family has a cabin up there a little ways. He a drinker? What? Is he a drinker or a user? Why would you ask that? Police work, Richie. Road's in pretty good shape. You see, the man should know it well. This particular stretch is straight as an arrow. So why did he plow into a tree? Exactly. He skidded here. What's that? Here, the tire tracks. They go straight right up to this point. Then they slide sharply into the tree. Hmm. Deer jump out in front of them? Probably, so there'd be hoof prints. What? What do you have? Bring bring your light over here. What is it? What is that? Well, it looks like an animal track. No. No, Yeah, look. Claws here and four toes. It's not a track. It isn't. Gif. It's six feet across. But it looks like a track. But it can't be. It's six feet across. You you hear that? Through the trees. Come on. Oh. Oh. Ivor, is that you? Where where is it? Ivor, come down. What happened? It came through here like a truck. I I put... put, uh, What did? I I shot it twice. I, I, I know I did. Ivor, what's going on? Richie! We need EMT. What is it? I, I got a 10-year-old over here. No pulse. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Ivor. Maddie? Maddie? You know these people? Oh, Maddie, no, no. Yeah. Father-in-law, the guy who owns that truck back there, is the kid. Yeah, a uh, broken neck, I think. Did you hear that? Ivor? Who else is up here with you? Maddie. Ivor, listen to me. Ivor. Oh. Tell me what happened. What? It looks like a Mack truck ran over your cabin. What happened here? It came out of the woods. What came out of the woods? Uh, I don't... Ivor, what came out of the woods? The end of the world. Richie! It was the end of everything. We we, we got another one. The baby okay? She's fine, but the mother... Deborah? Ivor, we need you to keep calm. What? You need to calm down. We have your granddaughter. We're going to get her safe, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 good. We all need to come along now. You need to come with us. All right. We need to know what happened here, so we'll go back to the substation. Whoa, now, whoa, Ivor, put the gun down. It's all over, Richie. World's coming to an end. 
Revelations. End of days. It's going to swallow us all up. Ivor. I'm sorry. Ivor, no. Get the baby back to the substation. It is closest. He, he just shot himself. The substation, Richie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, thanks. What'd the coroner say? Uh, it's just like it looked. Both the girl and her son were crushed to death. Massive internal injuries. Damn it. I asked about the tire tracks or anything, and, and he said negative. They weren't run over by a vehicle. What could have done this? Um, moose? There'd be hoof prints. Besides, did you see the cabin? Something half knocked it down. Yeah, something keeps bugging me about that. What I don't understand is... For God's sakes, Richie, get your boots off the desk. Is a housekeeper around here? Wait. I mean, if you need to delay the investigation so you can dust, just go on just and... Shut, shut up a second. There's something on your boots. I would imagine it's mud. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that too, but look at this. It's pond scum. Yeah, it's the color of pond scum, but it, it is different. What do you mean? Well, touch the stuff. Huh. If you run it through your fingers for a bit, they they start to go numb. Hmm. Topical anesthetic? <laughs> Nothing like that grows here. Uh, although... Although what? A, a weird thing about what happened tonight. I don't remember there being a road where we ran into the Olsen shack. What do you mean? Remember how we ran straight from the accident scene into the shack down that nice wide road? Yeah. There wasn't a road there before. I, I don't even think there was a path. Hmm. What? Just that... Ivor worked for the county for 30 years. He wouldn't have put in a new road without getting permits. I don't think he put in a road. Something else caused this. Caused? What do you mean caused? A new road was put in. Without permits? A lot of people play it fast and loose up here, Giff. You just said Ivar wouldn't. Well, yeah. What if something made that road just that night? Ivar was yelling about it coming out of the woods like a truck, and he was scared enough to take his own life. Just take it easy. I know he's a friend of yours. He wasn't really a friend. It's just, this is a small town. Ivor was well-known by folks. Be careful what you say, because things get around. We need to figure out what killed these people. You have a theory, officer, or are you just running your mouth? I do. That footprint? What? Back on the road by the pickup truck, there was a footprint. That was not a footprint. (sighs) It sure looked like one. It was six feet across. There is no animal in these woods that size. Hell, the only animal that size doesn't even live on land. It swims, and it doesn't have feet. What if... uh, Hear me out now. What if something that big dragged itself through the woods? What? Something big enough to leave that footprint would have cleared that road dragging through the woods, wouldn't it? An animal dragging through the woods would have left broken brush behind. Not if it was heavy enough. Not if it was secreting something that burned the land. What? It was dark when we were there. We, We weren't looking for anything except the survivor of a car wreck. I bet you if we can see that territory in daylight, we'll see a lot more. What do you think we'll see? More giant footprints? I I don't know, but it's going to be daylight in an hour. I I think we need to get out to the park marina and get a plane. And you'll fly? Part of my job, Richie. I'm supposed to go up checking for fires this week anyway. I asked you this once, and I'm going to ask you again. When did you last sleep? I'm good to fly, if that's what you're worried about. That's exactly what I'm worried about. I put more hours in that plane over the summer than I do in my truck. And you're still not answering my question. When did you last sleep? Fine. I'll go up without you. Two sets of eyes are better than one, and it's a simple question. I've had insomnia for about a month, but I'm getting enough sleep. You look like hell. I'm getting enough sleep for me. Again, you look like hell. What the hell do you want from me? Calm down, Giff. I've had just about enough of your... Officers? Uh, Come in, Karen. You call the agency? They sent you? I sent me. It's four in the morning, and I'm not going to try to rouse Judy at this time of night. Is this going to work, you two together? Shut up, Richie. It's a legit concern. You talking crazy, and then your ex walks through the door. We're both fine, Richie. I still work at Child Protective Services, and you need us. Now, tell me what happened. There was an accident out at Olson Shack near County Road 2. There was an infant back with Cheryl. The father's missing, and the mother's dead. Oh, no. Debbie? Yeah. What happened? 
Guys, what happened? We were just discussing that. Karen? What? Kid's back with Cheryl. It's going to be fine, Richie. Don't worry about us working together. I'm not. I'm worried about him. You haven't heard the stuff he's been saying. I'm sure it's fine. Nice to hear you being so supportive. Gif! I wonder what's changed. I need to go take care of the baby. Karen, wait. What? Why don't you come into town for a few days? What? Get a room at the Holiday Inn or something. Just come in from the cabin. What's wrong? I don't like to think of you out in the woods like that, uh, alone. Why not? I've been alone in the woods for over a month now. Karen! And I spent many a night alone before that. See, I can make jabs, too. Come into town. I have to go and see this baby. Richie? Yeah? Keep an eye on this one, would you please? He looks like he's about to fall over. Mm, Sure. Well, on that happy note, shall we go flying? It's up here, right? Right. It's County 2 down there. Just follow it for another click in the road with the accident. We're off to the west. Okay. There. Right there. Got it. Pickup's still there. That's weird. Tow truck should have taken it to impound by now. Do you see it? Truck? No. Look, that road we followed to the cabin. It's not a road at all. It's just a windy path through the trees. What the hell would cause that? You see it, though, right? Of course I see it. It, it looks burned, like the brush has been burned away. What would do that? What could do that? The trail heads deeper into the park. I'm going to follow it. Yeah. Should we pull the plane up onto the beach? Go just short. I have a tow line. I'll bring ashore and tie her up to a tree. Okay. Let me get my bearings here. Through there. What? The trail ended right up through there, due east about 100 yards. There's a path here. Yeah. There's some sort of boat-in campsites on the far side of this island. People probably use that path to get to this beach. All right, there, tied on. Okay. So... What? What's your plan here? What do you mean? You're not nervous, are you, Rich? You're the one looking for monsters. I just want to know what we'll do when we find one. Boy Scout comes prepared. And if we run into something big enough to make a road through the forest, do you think that gun's going to make a difference? Well, maybe it's afraid of noise. You are worrying me, Ranger. I'll get you back home for a cup of hot cocoa and a nice nap. Just cool your jets. Right. All right. The trail. What would you make it? Ten feet wide? Without that, jeez, that slime is everywhere. Yeah, and I got a specimen kit here. Good, good. Good God, what is that? Don't know. It's not a skunk, though. Pungent enough to be, but but it's different. Yeah. Is it? Is that the goo? No, that's that's odorless. It, I don't remember that smell last night either. You know. What I don't understand is... What? Jesus, God, Rich! What is that thing? Rich, come on! I I don't... I don't... No, wait! Are you... Are you crazy? Run! Is it coming? Is it? No, no, it's... Let's get out of here! No argument here. Toss off that line. What... What was that? Something best studied from a distance. Come on! I can't help what I saw, sir. I understand that, but I I, I really think... That's your final word? (laughs) Of course I'm getting enough sleep. Giff, please calm down. Stupid brain-dead morons. Calm down there. You couldn't have expected them to believe you, could you? (sighs) I I don't know. How did you and the chief... About like you with the park service. I don't understand. What is it you two saw? We saw what killed the Olsen family. 
And this is hard for your superiors to believe? Apparently, yes. Why? I don't understand. You, you didn't tell her? The only person I've told was a superintendent, and you just heard how that went. Oh. What is wrong with you two? What was it? Something I wish to God I could just ignore. It was a, a, a lizard, I guess. A lizard? It was huge, Karen. 30 feet long if it was an inch. What? It had short legs, so it, it, it dragged belly and tail along the ground. It, it was black with uh, yellow splotches, and it, it, it stank to high heaven. The head was the size of a car, and it, it, it had a beak, kind of like a, a snapping turtle's. Don't bother trying to hide the fact that you don't believe us. Well, that's not fair. This is an incredible story. You can't expect me to just jump right in. We know what we saw. That's not proof. I saw what I saw. I don't see this as being any different than sighting a moose or a bear. It's different because moose and bear are known to inhabit these woods and known to exist. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, a mutant turtle gif? No wonder it went over so well with your boss. Tell me, was it Donatello or Michelangelo? Karen. It wasn't a turtle. There was no shell. It was like... All the reptiles that live up here all smashed together and pumped full of steroids. Oh, I can't believe I am being dragged into your nonsense again. Then leave. That shouldn't be a problem for you. Guys, guys, can we please focus on how to convince people there's a real threat in the woods without being locked up in the crazy house? Crazy house? Seriously, what decade are you living in? That's better. Now, what do we do? Well, we need proof. You have that sample. I don't know if that's going to do any good. Send it to Diane. Who? You know, Diane DeMarco. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten about her. Who, who's Diane DeMarco? She's a college friend of mine. She's a wildlife biologist. She worked up here for a little while. I, I think she's down in St. Paul now. She is. And I have her email back at the office, so why don't I take the sample and you two get back onto the plane? Why? Whatever that thing is, it's probably big enough to be seen from the air, right? You need pictures, lots of them. You want us to go out after that thing? Well, did it look like it could fly? No. Well, then you've got nothing to worry about. I have to get a courier for this sample. You two, get moving. she always this bossy? You have no idea. 